Hey folks, Mr. Hartzler here again. I want to show you how to find the volume, surface area, and weight of a rectangular prism. So in this case, it's going to be a uh, rectangular board. It is three and a half inches by 17 inches long and one and a half inches tall. And we're going to consider this like it's southern yellow pine and its weight density is 0 0.021 pounds per cubic inch. All right, let's get started with volume. When I'm finding volume of a rectangular prism, I have to do width times depth times height. In this case, that means it's 3.5 inches times 17.0 inches times 1.5 inch. Putting all of that into the calculator, and you end up with 89.25. And since we have inch times inch times inch, it's now inch cubed. Moving on to surface area, our formula for that is 2 times width times depth plus width times height plus depth times height, making sure we do everything in parentheses first, and then moving on to the multiplying by 2. So I'm going to start by substituting in all of those little pieces, my width being 3.5, my depth being 17, plus my width being 3.5 times my height of 1.5 plus my depth of 17 times my height of 1.5. Now I have all of those little pieces plugged in. I set all of this making sure I'm typing it all in my calculator inside a set of parentheses. Then I multiply by the 2. When I do that I end up with 180 0.5 inches squared. Inches squared comes from this being an inch times an inch. Same thing all the way down. Inches times inches will give me inches squared. And if I'm adding up two things that are inches squared, I still end up with inches squared. So surface area is now done. Let's move on to weight. Finding the weight as volume times density weight or weight density. I found the volume in the first thing we did and that was 89.25 cubic inches. I now multiply that by the weight density and that was given to us and if it's not that's usually something you can look up in a, a table somewhere or if it's a product that somebody shipped to you it would be stated uh, on that document somewhere. Inches on top, inches on bottom so they're gonna end up canceling and that gets you 1.874 pounds. So that is finding volume, surface area, and weight of a rectangular prism. If this video is helpful, please click that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more like this. And as always, everybody, please have a great rest of your day.